Hi guys, AFL Analyst here, and today I'm going to be doing finals previews slash tips part two. So in this part two, I'm going to be doing the elimination finals, but if you want to know a bit more about the qualifying finals and to see my tips for them, definitely go and look at my other video. Um, although this video is a lot better, I've put a lot more effort into it and have shortened down my explanations a bit. And also like and subscribe if you do like my drawing on the side of Pickett. Um, and also comment your tips down below. And let's get started. So the first match I'm going to be doing is West Coast vs Collingwood. So it starts at 8.10pm at Optus Stadium on Saturday the 3rd of October. So I'm going to first be going over some really important points um, about the form of these teams so far this year and how they match up against each other and some things that I think could be really important for the matchup. And then after that, I'll be showing you what I think the overall scores are going to look like at the end of the match. So the first point is Collingwood scoring struggles. I think this could really be a defining factor in the match. Um, yeah, I just think they can't really score enough to keep in touch with West Coast and obviously then will therefore lose. So to back this up, uh, I'm showing the Pies scores against top eight teams this year. Um, and as you can see, they're really low. So I think they have the lowest points for, for any team in the top eight. Um, their average points against top eight teams over the season has been 57. Their average goals kicked against top eight teams over the season has been eight. And if we exclude the, the first three rounds, sorry, when they were actually going all right, um, the average points against top eight teams is only 45, which is just really bad and I think could be a reason that they might lose against West Coast. So the next point is wins in the West. So I think um, West Coast definitely play a heap better at Optus Stadium, as you can see here, seven wins to zero losses this year. Compared to when they play interstate, they have five wins and five losses. Um, so I think this could be definitely a huge advantage for them. Okay, so the next thing, Eagle Flies. So I think um, Nick Matt did a really good job against Grundy last time. Um, they had the same amount of hit outs, but he had a few more to advantage um, and definitely looked a lot better and gave his midfielders a lot better opportunities. So I've also put in team clearances, which Nick Matt had 32 to 24. So um, yeah, if Collingwood want to win, Grundy um, would probably have to do a lot better of a job um, next time to make sure that Collingwood are getting more clearances. So anyway, what I think the full-time score will be. So I think West Coast will end up winning by a fair margin, 31 points. Um, oh, sorry. I don't know why that one has disappeared, sorry. But anyway, yeah, West Coast will win. So the next game I'm going to be talking about is St Kilda vs Western Bulldogs. So this game will be played at 4.40pm um, at the Gabba on Saturday the 3rd of October. So I think the first main point I want to make is their last five matches for each team. So I think Bulldogs have definitely been in some better form, winning four of their last five compared to St Kilda's two of their last five. Um, Western Bulldogs have also got over some pretty good opposition in West Coast Eagles and definitely looked um, really good and scored really well against Freeman. Um, and then St Kilda on the other hand didn't really look that good. Um, they really should have won against Melbourne. That was a pretty poor game. And um, you can't expect them to win against Brisbane and West Coast, but still I think the fact that Western Bulldogs did better and won against West Coast really says that the dogs are in better form. So the first thing I want to talk about um, for this matchup is the Ruck Contest. So Ryder and Marshall um, definitely were a lot better than English in round two, um, getting 49 hitouts to 12 and 20 hitouts to advantage to three. Um, I think even though the Dogs have a really good midfield, um, this like absolute demolition in the Ruck is really going to affect them for clearances and stuff. And also, I think Marshall got like a goal or maybe a few goals as well. So they definitely need a ton up in the ruck all around the ground. So next point 
is um, Caleb Daniel. Um, they probably want a matchup for Caleb Daniel just because he's been like so good this year. As you can see, he's elite and above average in a few categories. Um, so the matchup might be, say, Josh Battle or someone who could definitely beat him in the air. Um, like, for example, Josh Battle went and shut down Haynes' um, last match against GWS. So that could be a potential matchup. But yeah, they really need to shut down Daniel because he's just been um, so good off halfback. So what I think the full-time scores will be. Um, so I reckon Western Bulldogs will get over the line, but not by much. This is probably mostly just because of their recent form. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. That's the end of the video. Um, obviously comment your tips and also any feedback on this video. Um, because it is a bit different to most of my other videos and I did put a lot of effort into the presentation. And also remember to like and subscribe.